A Scottish charity working to improve access to health care in Nepal is hoping to build the country's first palliative care training centre. At the moment, there are limited resources, with few health care professionals being trained in how best to care for the terminally ill. Now, reporter Susan Ripple has been to the site where the charity hopes to build the pioneering facility. 33-year-old Juna, in a rented one-room house she can't afford to pay for. She's widowed and her children are living in an orphanage. For most, these personal circumstances would be hard enough. But Juna also has incurable skin cancer. It was very difficult for me before. I was having my own health problems and having to look after both the children and I was worried my husband was not there to take care of them. But now my health is getting better and they're getting proper education, so I'm relieved. The doctors and nurses frequently gave me counselling and it was comforting. They've been a lot of help to me. If they were not there, then maybe I would not survive. This support has been coming from the local hospital Green Pastures. Staff here have been working to improve palliative care, which at the moment is limited to just two beds. It was initially set up as a leprosy colony, providing care for those who had no home to go to. Now they're seeking to expand their services, thanks to the help of a Scottish charity. This is the site here where EMMS International is hoping to build this new palliative care unit. It will include 10 beds as well as a pioneering training centre for medical staff, turning what is essentially at the moment rubble into a life-changing centre. We believe uh, that this will make a big impact. Uh, it's not an overnight thing, but as we start the pioneering work in palliative care, people will be able to get the treatment from here and we're also able to train the health personnel. They can go on to the remote areas where we are not able to go. Development of the centre is still at an early stage, but if it goes ahead, the charity hopes it will be a catalyst for change, not just here in Pokhara, but also across the country, giving those struggling the most the chance for a more comfortable life. Susan Ripple, STV News, Nepal.